All right, y'all. So in honor of the new year, uh, we're going to watch a couple videos here. The Young Turks posted a, uh, a thing the other day. It's Michael Shore out at Trump rallies interviewing Trump supporters. And they've said some... Well, they've said some wacky things. Let's just say that. And I wanted to go through 2023's craziest Trump supporters uh, and we can mourn together about <laughs> the state of the country. Of Donald Trump as a dictator or four years of President Biden reelected? You, you know, you don't have to like the words that come out of the man's mouth, but sometimes in life we all need a good paddling from the principal to, to set our life on the right track. That was oddly sexual. That was oddly. Is he saying that Trump is uh, paddling us? He's the principal? Or Trump needs to be paddled by the principal. I don't... Okay. And this country does need a little bit of that. It, we need a little paddling. I mean, I was a problem child growing up. and it Oh, this is, get, this is dark. This is dark. This is, this is like weirdly sexual and dark. And this poor woman sitting here like, don't give away our secrets. Stop giving away our secrets. And don't nobody need to know you're into some freaky stuff. Good leadership to set me straight. So I, I think our country does need some of that. So I, I hands down believe people wanted it four years ago, three years ago. So, But they didn't vote that way, right? I don't know about that. Do you, you think it was a stolen election? No, with, without a doubt. The other we, day we Donald it. Trump said on his first day he's going to be a dictator for a day. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like that. Would you rather have Donald Trump as a dictator for four years or reelect Joe Biden for four years? I would rather have Donald Trump... I'd like to see the repeal of the Roosevelt law so that he can be a president for a lot more than four years. Oh. But we, this country, needs a dictator. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. I, at least he's saying what they really think. Because I don't think he's just indicative of himself. I think this is like par for the course for a giant number of Trump supporters. If they were being honest, they would say what he's saying. Yeah, no, we don't support democracy. In no way, shape, or form. It's not like, hey, we have institutions and they're flawed, but I support them. To them, it's like we have institutions. We shouldn't have those and just replace it with Donald Trump as an authoritarian. Thank you for saying it. At least he's saying it. Props for the honesty. Donald Trump said in a speech that on day one for a day, he would be a dictator. What do you think of that? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I, I don't know. Would you rather have four years of Donald Trump as a dictator or four years of Joe Biden as a president? Trump. As a dictator. Maybe. <laughs> okay, this one's not the brightest, is she? Would you rather have four years of uh, Donald Trump as a dictator or four years of Joe Biden as a president? Donald Trump all the way. Even as a dictator? Yes, okay. yes. Even coming out of Slovakia? Yes, yes. Would this makes... Okay, I wish there was a poll of Trump supporters now. I don't know if there is, but I wish there was. To ask just point blank period... Do you support a dictatorship over democracy? Because we're getting a lot of yeses here for that. We're getting a lot of yeses. I'd rather have four years of Donald Trump as a dictator or four years of Joe Biden as a president. You know, we have a dictator currently, so. Yeah, so why not have uh, Trump as one? Okay, all right. I got more for you. Let's go. Tell me about the shirt you're wearing. Uh, it says, hang Biden for treason for everybody listening podcast style. Much speaks for itself. Is that something you would really like to see happen? Absolutely. Even with that. Why does she have like a, like a 2005 Jersey Shore tan seemingly in the middle of winter? Why, why, what's going on? That's very bizarre. Fix dangling over it. What would Jesus think of that? Absolutely. He's, been a, he's not just a traitor now. He's been a traitor for decades. Everybody knows it. But, but again, you have Jesus hanging over, hang for tr Biden. Would Jesus be cool with it? What's the penalty for treason? Death. Oh, is that what Jesus said? <laughs> Jesus said, hang Joe Biden, or the penalty for treason is death? I'm pretty sure Jesus was a pacifist. Jesus. Tell, um, tell me this, then. Put him in prison for the rest of his life. Uh, I like how Michael Schur was able to talk her down from hang Joe Biden to just put him in prison for the rest of his life. Oh, okay. Thank you. What is it about Donald Trump forgetting Joe Biden for a moment that you like so much? What did he do for this country? What did he do for the entire world? World. What did he do? He's giving you the floor. Say, what did uh, Trump do that you love so much? Lower gas prices, taxes, uh, everything. Everything uh, was phenomenal under Donald Trump. Uh, everything was. Everything was. 
Everything. Absolutely everything was. And now it's <laughs> what What are we supposed to do with this? What are we supposed to do with this? Look, I, I value changing minds and persuasion and discussion and debate as much as anybody. And I'd put my, my record up uh, on changing people's minds up against anybody's. But what am I supposed to do with this? I don't even think it's theoretically, hypothetically, philosophically possible to move somebody like this. She said literally everything was great under Trump and literally everything is shit right now. I don't know. I don't know how to get through to somebody like this. I don't know. I have no idea. Right now, specifically to you. Everything's bad. Look at all the wars going on everywhere. And what about the wars under Trump? What about when he illegally assassinated a top Iranian commander, nearly sparking a war with Iran? What about when they tried to coup Venezuela? What about when he increased drone strikes over 400%? What about when he kept us in Iraq? What about when he kept us in Afghanistan? What about all of his aggressive, hawkish actions? What about hiring John Bolton, who is the worst neocon in the country, and Gina Haspel, who is directly involved with torture? Anything? No. See, but Trump's wars don't count because of stuff and things. Biden war Biden's wars count. Do you blame President Biden for the, for the wars that are going on? Absolutely. And the Democrats and Obama. I'm, 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 I'm Obama calling the shots right now. It ain't Biden. Biden's... So it's Obama calling the shots? I believe so. Is what did it? he say at the end of his second term or after his second term? He said if he could have a third term and have a bug in someone's ear and run it from his basement, that's that would be good enough for him. And okay. All right. Let's do more. Tell me about um, if, if Donald Trump does not win, what do you what do? you do? I hope that I'm going to die. <laughs> you want to die if Donald Trump doesn't win? Do. I don't want to live like this anymore. You like our country the way it is now? It's hard for me to give credit to a, a person of, um, like Obama for, for all the reasons that, that I think are true about him that, that is not in the mainstream media. Like what? Um, well, uh, him and his favorite beau, uh, Michael. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I meant that Michelle. <laughs> and I could go on. There's, there's no sense in going further than that. All right. I mean his wife? I mean the person that he, he cohabitates with, yes. The mother of, of his, his two daughters? Okay, say what you want, but I don't believe that for an instant either. I don't believe that, the, that Michael had any... He's going with the conspiracy that Michelle Obama is trans and her name is Michael. And I don't like... It gets to the point where the, the conspiracy theories are totally asinine and gratuitous, right? Because like, okay, even if that was true, what does that change? <laughs> like, it literally changes nothing. It's not true. But even if it was, what does it change? It's, it's just like believing wacky things for the sake of believing wacky things so that you can virtue signal like, bro, I'm the most intelligent. I figured everything out. And you idiots don't see the plain truth in front of you, even though this is not at all the plain truth. Michael who? <laughs> One that you call Michelle Obama. That's his wife. They were. Okay. okay. All right. I think we can suspend this conversation because I don't agree. I, uh, you don't agree with that's his wife? I, I agree that's his mate. No, I think they've been after him so long that all of this is just a witch hunt like he described it. I don't think there's anything Trump's done wrong. I th nothing. Nothing Trump's done. 91 criminal charges. He's done nothing wrong. Nothing at all. Literally nothing. That the desperate opposition is just after him. I mean, they started out, you know, and they've been after him eight different ways, and they're going to keep after him until they can get him in jail, I think. People can't see beyond this politicalization of the Justice Department. Then Politicalization of the Justice Department. They, 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 I would say they suffer from Trump derangement syndrome. There are people that think that you suffer from <laughs> Yeah, but they don't have an argument. They just don't like Trump. And you just love Trump. It's so funny watching people who are hyper-partisan besmirch partisanship as if, like, they're the solution to it by being hyper-partisan in the other direction. You could see me do 14,000 critiques of Joe Biden on a daily basis. These people have nothing to critique Trump for. What would you think the reset would have to be for Republicans? I would say things would get so bad, it'll be uh, almost in a communist type of zone to where we may not even be able to farm anymore. If Trump doesn't win, we're going to go full communist, and the communists are going to ban farming. Because, you know... That's what communists do. They ban farming. Communists ban f having food because they think having food is a dirty capitalist trick. You don't actually have to eat to survive. That, that was brainwashed into you by the capitalist system. In reality, you can subsist off of uh, breathing oxygen and being in nature. No food necessary. This is what the communists believe. Have you read the Communist Manifesto? 
Are you familiar with Marx and Lenin? Uh, this, this is what they say. Let's, let's go full communist and ban the farms and ban eating. Again, I reiterate. How am I supposed to get through to somebody like this? When I could just reiterate the literal point they made and it sounds like satire in and of itself, I don't know how to get through to somebody like this. Like, I would have to first convince him, no, Joe Biden is not a communist, point number one. Point number two is, they're not going to ban farming. Oh my God. Uh -huh. We're not talking about our worldview. Everybody's laughing at America because we have the weakest president we've ever had in the history. He likes everybody but America. He so wait, which is it? They were before they were saying, "Oh my God, Biden's a warmonger. He's doing too many wars." Now he's saying, "Oh, he's super weak." It can only be one or the other. You have to pick one. By the way, the reality is he is kind of a warmonger, backing Israel as they do a genocide of Gaza. That's unacceptable. But they'll try to just, literally any argument, even if it contradicts. It's just, I don't know, throw them both. I don't know, because I don't like Biden. Well, because he's crooked. He's gotten a lot of money, millions over the years with his son, Hunter. But the thing that is, Russia, China, everybody's laughing because we have no strength. We are not the America of 10 years ago. All right. Uh, the, uh, oh, my God, they're taking so much money. There was just the report that came out. Trump uh, took $7.8 million from foreign governments as president. Do you think this woman is going to be outraged about that? Do you think this woman is going to say he shouldn't be president because he's so corrupt? No, they're going to overlook that while they still talk about Hunter Biden. It's, uh... I wonder if she was just the greatest girl, the kindest, nicest, beautiful, uh, you know, one... He asked this guy if he would date a Democrat. Uh, you know, had the same sort of social values as you, but she voted for Democrat. Maybe date her, but I couldn't marry and live with her. It's too much. <laughs> now, I mean, look, to be fair, there's plenty of people on, on the left who say the same thing. They're like, I, could, I couldn't date a Republican. You know, I, there's got to be some sort of connection in value system right, and priorities for a marriage to work. So that's not, it's not crazy to believe that. I mean, there are some relationships where there's total disagreement politically where they somehow work out, but I'd imagine most of them probably fail, certainly more so than if it was two like-minded people. So I don't, I don't think that's crazy. Woke means, to me, it's like, it's like policies and in the schools and companies that are forcing people basically to just go along with the tide. When people are, a lot of people don't even want it, but they're just doing it because they don't want to fight. So like LGBTQ rights, is that forcing people to? Not, not rights. I mean, like I said, everybody should have rights, but like I, it's really being forced upon children in schools, like the things that are being taught to them, like they're having, like parents don't have rights anymore. Like the rights of parents are being diminished and the rights of the government and the school system are being expanded. And so our kids are in danger. I mean, kids are getting mutilated and making choices like, would you let, if you had like a 10 year old kid, would you let them get a tattoo? Would you be like, yeah, you think you should get a tattoo? Yeah, sure, get a tattoo on, on both arms. No, you wouldn't do that, but we're, we're letting kids decide at, at like young teens and young, like 12 year olds that tr change your life forever, cut off your, your body parts. The gender reassignment, that's what yeah, you're Just all those things, like those things should not be encouraged in kids. We're, uh, it's the old, you know, they're transing the kids. They have to stop transing the kids. That's why I support Republicans. Jesus Christ. You've got to be a Daily Wire viewer there, right? But I don't think she'd pass the physical to be a man. Or to be a woman. I'm sorry. Be a woman. What gives you that thought? I have lots of reason to believe that. Do you think Melania Trump is a man? No. Why, why, why would you think Michelle Obama is a man? Um, I'm genuinely curious. Well, do a little research. Just do a little research. Yeah. That's they go listen to Alex Jones. He'll give, you the, he'll give you the facts. It's like out there. What's out there is, is the fact that uh, her walking out in a skirt and there's an obvious bulge where there shouldn't be one and it's it's not what are the chances this guy beat his little meat to michelle michelle obama with a bulge what are the chances i think the chances are astronomically high pain uh dancing on the stage with uh, ellen degeneres uh there's an obvious disparity in, in um her gender you, they, they went after Richard Nixon, they went after Bill Clinton, and now the courts in several different states are finding different things about Trump. Is there anything that could happen with him indictment-wise that would say, all right, maybe this disqualifies him for president? Not for me. I'm with him to the finish. All right, thank he, you so much. He could stand on the front steps of the White House and, and commit murder, and I'm with him. <laughs> Explain that. Me, That's amazing. I mean, as, look... Uh, He's the only man we've ever had in my lifetime that stood for America as president. Now, I was a George Herbert Walker Bush man and all that, but they don't anybody compare to Donald Trump. He loves this country, and that's why I love him. It's just, it's almost like Trump's ability to convince these people 
that he's like the messiah. It's almost like wizardry. It's almost like magic. It's all emotional, right? He evokes a feeling from them. He just makes them feel good. I don't know if it's the charisma or the arrogance or the boss man persona, right? But old white guy in a suit and tie who was an entertainer and a showman his whole life. Something about that. These guys just cream themselves over it. It's all emotional. It's all feel. None of it is actually, oh, he stands for America. What, well, what does that mean? What exactly has he done that makes you go, that's right. So he gave us all health care. Wait, he didn't? He didn't give us all health care? Uh, he, he gave us all free college. Wait, he didn't, he didn't give us all free college. He, uh, he, he raised tax, he raised, uh, wages for everybody. Oh, wait, he did, he didn't raise wages for everybody? Like, what is it? Well, give me something. Give me something. Usually with, oh, he cut taxes. He cut, it's overwhelmingly for the rich. That bill was over, 83% of the benefits of that tax bill went to the top 1%. It was not for regular people. It's just, he evokes, a, it's like, he's the, the old white man whisperer, right? He just somehow gets to all of them. They just fall for it immediately. And you're, I'm guessing, a couple of months older than me. But I'm going to say that, you know, looking back at some of the presidents like Eisenhower, like LBJ, uh, like Gerald Ford, like, um, you know, Reagan, Bush, who you mentioned. Yeah. What, what about them didn't stand for America in the same way that Trump does? You know, uh, I think it's got to do with the times we're living in. We're, America's being assaulted. Open borders. Uh, Joe Biden deported more people than uh, than Donald Trump did, and he kept in place a lot of Donald Trump's border policies. So, yeah, open borders by Biden acting almost exactly like Trump with minor differences. Open borders. You know all the issues. We all know the issues, and nobody stood under the attack that Trump stood under. And That's what it. See, it's true. That's what it is. The more liberal elites and the establishment and the Democrats, the more they go after Trump, even when it's totally legitimate. Sometimes it's not legitimate with Russiagate, but other times with like these criminal charges, it is legitimate. The more they do that, these people just don't like the media and Democrats and elite. They just don't like them. They don't like Hollywood. And so they think, well, they're attacking Trump, which means Trump must be fighting for us. So that that's how they think of it. But it's almost like it's this weird paradox, right? Because then you could never hold him accountable because then it just makes his base love him more. So what do you do? Look, fact of the matter is, after the midterms, if there was just a total media blackout of discussing Trump at all, we would be past Trump and it'd be Ron DeSantis now. That would be the case. But they can't help themselves. They have to, it's like, they have to go after the shiny object and Trump is the shiny object. He's the thing that makes the most noises. He's the thing that generates the most clicks. And so it's like, they just can't help but go for it. But the media hates Trump right? There's not that big of a difference media-wise between love and hate. Either way, it's a lot of press, right? The difference is between love and hate is on one side of the spectrum, on the other side of the spectrum is indifference. And they never could bring themselves to be indifferent to him, even after he lost the election, after he was theoretically supposed to have gone away. They couldn't bring themselves to be indifferent. And that's why we are where we are now. You just said it. He just explained all that. What he's done, he's hanging in there. He's for us. He loves this country. And I'm going to support him to the end. I hope he wins. We need him. Last question for you, because then you got to go in. Um, what would he have done differently than President Biden that would have made you think that it, that he would have been a better president? President Biden? Um, you know, Biden, to me, if he had not been a career politician, he might have been better. But he's lived in Washington all his life. I think we need term limits. I think we need to stop all these old people from running Washington, D.C. That's corrupt. Well, the old people, I mean, Trump isn't, there's not a huge difference in age. Yeah, I, I should rephrase that. The old people that's been in Washington all their life. If you, if you said, look, here's... Say, say one nice thing about Joe Biden to me. I can't. Right, so you just don't like Biden. Oh, because I, I've looked at Biden when he was, he's, he's just totally corrupt. How can you look beyond the corruption to say that this man could be a statesman for representing the United States? Trump took $7.8 million from foreign governments as president. As president. $7.8 million. Jared Kushner took $2 billion from Saudi Arabia. Donald Trump overlooked uh, Jamal Khashoggi, a Washington Post journalist, being chopped into bits and pieces by Saudi Arabia and sent them more weapons after the fact. Do I really need to go on? Sheldon Adelson gave hundreds of millions of dollars to Trump when he ran for president, and then Trump turned around, dropped the court cases that were into him, and moved uh, the embassy to Jerusalem because Sheldon Adelson wanted it. Do I need to go on? 
he took a million dollars from the predatory payday loan industry for his inauguration, and then he dropped the investigations into them and dropped the regulations into them after the fact. Look, is Biden corrupt? Yes. Is that a reason to oppose him? Yes. The same fucking thing applies to Trump, and they don't see it. The issue of his getting the mil millions of dollars with, with, with uh, Hunter Biden, the media didn't cover that at all. Why? Why didn't they cover that? Hunter Biden is being brought up on charges. There's a massive investigation into Hunter Biden right now. The media talks about it all the time. To sell our land before, you know, it's completely controlled with all the regulations. He cut regulations, everything. I couldn't name one thing that's positive of Biden. And this is why we're in a mess. And but I think one of the worst things, you know, with agriculture and my business and everything else, when they opened up that border, you know. When you say they opened it up, what do you mean? Well, we had it shut down. Trump had it regulated and he was screening them. And now we're going to have bad stuff go on. They're, they're infiltrating the country, feeding everybody for free. You see, can't afford it. Can't afford it. Like he says, they got to come in legally, not illegally. You get in illegally, you know, you're going to have a mess. And I'm afraid it could be, that's why we have so much crime. Uh -huh. The Cato Institute, a libertarian think tank, did a study on this. They found that both undocumented immigrants and documented immigrants, so legal and illegal immigrants, both respectively, commit crime at a lower rate than native-born Americans. So to say the crime odds the immigrants, that is factually not true. If we don't get Trump back this next time, it's really going to get bad. It's scary. So we were, we were stronger when President Obama was in office? No. We, that was 10 years ago. No, yeah. Obama started this whole mess and started dividing us. When Trump came in, he started getting us back to our roots, back to loving America, back to helping get rid of the regulations so we could be uh, more energy efficient. Now, look at we're buying our oil from where? A foreign country when we have enough here in this country to take care of us plus many? That is because of the oil companies. That's not... U.S. oil. We haven't nationalized the oil, so we can't prioritize if we want to, hey, let's keep all of our oil. We can't do that because it's not nationalized. The oil companies make a profit. The oil companies ship the oil elsewhere, make their profits doing that. Oil from other countries. No, but we could produce more here. He's hurting big businesses. Look at what's going on. You've got big businesses that are going out of business. Did you hear her? Oh, she's very concerned about big business. Yeah, big business is really struggling at the moment. Where, where, when will the government care about big business? About the, um, the drug, the, uh, not, not CVS, but one of them, the, Rite Aid. They're going out of business. They're, they're closing over 100 stores. That has nothing to do with being able to get stuff online and from Amazon? No. I, I mean, it doesn't really matter what I think, but you've got a pretty good life. You got, you got nice clothes on, you got hat on, sunglasses, you got your health. I mean, the country's done pretty well by you, right? No, the country hasn't done anything by me. I, I've done everything for myself. My husband and I took care of ourselves as we grew older. Now, when we, when we got ready to retire, we, took, we had planned what we were going to do. Now, what is, what is the country doing for me now? Do I get any interest on anything that I put away and saved? Well, your money is safe, right? I wouldn't say that. You got access to health care? I have access to health care because my husband served 20 years in the military. So the military did something for your family. The military is trustworthy, right? I mean, the military health care system is great. No, I wouldn't say it's great. We were promised free health care for our whole life, but that did not happen. What is it that is so bad about where America is or where you are right now with America that you would want to die if Donald Trump doesn't win? I just don't want to live in a country that is as screwed up as this one, that people are so out of control and, and that they think that everything, that, that they're entitled to everything. I, I, I don't... Ah... Uh. Oh, don't tell me that it's not a cult when people are, if he doesn't win, I want to die. Don't tell me it's not a cult. It is a cult, man. It's not, you can make an argument back in 2015, 2016, that, you know, when he won the general election, that at that point, no, not necessarily a cult. Some people supported him for all the wrong reasons, all the anti-Muslim stuff and anti-Mexican stuff, for sure. And then there were also people who thought, hey, I'll keep the jobs here and maybe that's why I'll overlook the other stuff and I'll support him. Well, guess what? He didn't keep the jobs here. He didn't. We had a net outsourcing of 200,000 jobs under him. The factory jobs were going away. In his bill, his tax bill, which these guys love, the tax cuts for the wealthy, it also incentivized factories outsourcing jobs. Okay? So he didn't, he didn't do any of those things. So when you have people who are still this loyal, when you have people now who say, I trust, literally poll show, Trump supporters say, I trust him over literally anybody else and anything else. It does, it could be, 
a religious leader. It could be their own parents. It could be their brother or their sister or their daughter or their son. They say, I take Trump's word over them, over science. You name it, they take his word over it. At that point, you are, right now, you're at the, the point where it's like, it's just these people will never change their minds, ever. It's more of a religious experience. It's more of a fundamentalist religion than it is a political thing. And he managed to, he does something to these people, man. He does something to these people. But look, we just, you just heard a whole bunch of them. And I'll leave the ball in your court. You decide whether or not you think that uh, this is the kind of ideology and mindset and guiding principle that should be leading this country forward. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.